let's see bone density classification as given by mesh so mesh has classified the bone into d1 d2 d3 and d4 types based on the cortical and the trabecular pattern within the bone so if we see d1 the cortical bone is dense with very minimal or no trabecular bone in d2 you have dense to porous cortical bone with a coarse trabecular bone within it d3 has thin porous cortical bone and very fine trabecular bone whereas d4 which has minimal or sometimes no cortical bone with very fine trabecular bone where do you find this type of bones so if you see d1 type of bone it will most probably always be found in anterior mandible the d2 bone is found in anterior mandible as well as in the posterior mandible region d3 in the posterior mandible as well as anterior maxilla and d4 is found in the posterior maxillary region so if you see this is maxilla and this is mandible so you have d1 here d2 here d3 here and d4 here okay so somewhat in this manner it will go when you are doing drilling in this type of the bones what are the consistency you will feel when doing the drilling so in d1 you will be feeling a hard resistance that is oak or maple wood type of filling in d2 it would be like white pine wood filling the d3 the feeling that you feel in your hand is described as the balsa wood and d4 is just like drilling into a styrofoam now before doing the surgery how do you know which type of bone is there in which type of condition so for that we do the ct scan and based on this hounsfield unit value we can know which type of bone is there for d1 the hounsfield value is 1250 or above for d2 it is 850 to 1250 for d3 it is 350 to 850 and for d4 it is 0 to 350 hounsfield units so based on the knowledge of this bone densities we can plan the implants accordingly